me. It's not you. It's that the person that's supposed to be your father was never taught how to be one. So he don't know how to do it. So then you have to look, you have to make a choice because you're old enough to understand the difference. Now, how many of you right now feel comfortable enough to say, I wish I had my father in my life right now? So nobody here wish they had their father. One. One person. Two. And it's okay. Let me, let me explain something to you. It's okay. I was in cross. I was in a, in a high school in Baltimore City, and I did the same presentation with high school kids. I had one voice raise his hand. I played some music too. That's another conversation. And I said to him, and he stood up in front of all his classmates. Because see, right now, some of you don't want to do it because you're scared. Because you, you worry about what people gonna think of you. This young man raised his hand. He stood up and started crying. He said, for 17 years, I went to bed at night crying because I didn't have my father. And he did this in front of all his classmates, and I'm talking about Baltimore City, and that's equivalent to straight gangsters, like these kids off the hook, high school kids. So some of you might not be dealing with that issue, but for the two who did raise their hand, who raised their hand? You was first and you was second. So you wish you had your father in your life. You ever talk to somebody about him? Your mother? What did she say? You got me. You ever talk about it, sweetheart? Why not? It hurts, don't it? And it hurts when you think about it, don't it? 